this next one. Um, I just want to give a little bit of a warning. I've put in the program asterisk where I recommend earplug use. Um, so once again, this is a spot where I recommend you use earplugs. But I also just wanted to give a note that uh, the track in this piece uses sound clips um, from televangelists. Um, and some of what they say is not like kid appropriate, um, but also um, just religious undertones. So I know religion is a touchy subject for a lot of people, including myself. So if that is the case for you, um, just please be warned that we will be talking about these subjects. So there's not a problem. Lately, I've been drifting aimlessly. Put your hand on that top. They think we're crazy, but we're actually the same ones. There will be 50 people give $1,000 and do it right now. You're not doing it for God, really. You're doing it for yourself. If you want to turn the channel, go ahead, fool. Turn the channel. You ready for this? You want something to knock your lights off? You would have understand this. I don't know. Heavy about it because some of you can't handle it. Some of you can't handle it. You're too spiritual. Still, if you're an intellectual, you'll probably end up in hell for it. Which didn't help, right? Made them more said, we don't give to get something back. Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> oh, yes, we do.
They were extremely offended by men that made money like you do, preaching like you do. You may already have the thousand. It may be something you put aside for retirement or college or a vacation. You may have put some money aside that nobody knows about in God's giving you a picture. It may be in the bottom of your closet. It may be in a sock. It may be between your mattresses. It may be an account that nobody knows about, but that's not your hardest. That thousand dollars won't get you anywhere. A lot of parents won't even thank their children. Oh, I can't spank my child because uh, it's going to affect his mind when he's an adult. God's gonna wipe out your credit card. I, I like that money. I don't know if you do, but I, I hate old money that's wrinkled and dirty and got all the diseases on it. I like new money. And when I give um, when I give things to people, I like to get stacks of money. It's fun. You ever had a stack of new money? Have you? You have it? Have you? How much money did you pay for Tyler Perry's Gulfstream jet, for example? Well, for example, that's really none of your business. But... It's not the business of your dad. And so I, I, I made, you know, big stack where it was brand new. And I like brand new money. I just, I don't want any money around me. It's not, I'd almost rather have a, a new one than a brand, than an old one. Now, that's kind of dumb. But there's something about new money that excites you. You like $100 bills? Mm -hmm. I like oh. money. Oh. The most beautiful thing on earth is a hundred dollar bill. I haven't seen a woman as good looking as a hundred dollar bill. Harvest responds only to seed, not to prayer, not to fasting, or any kind of position you have. Harvest only responds to seed. All you've got is a thousand dollars. Listen, that's not enough money anyway to buy the house. You're trying to get in the apartment. You're trying to buy the house. That's not enough money anyway. You get to that phone and you put that A lot of people think it's unbecoming for a preacher to live a life of luxury and to fly around in private jets. What's your response to that?
Um, um, so this next piece is called See a Thursday by Stephen Mackey. I feel like I should hold this. It feels more natural. Um, so Stephen Mackey wrote this piece in 1993, was commissioned for um, New Music Marimba and the Percussive Art Society, but then also a lot of prominent marimbas like uh, Robert Van Sice, Nancy Zeltzman, and William Morsch. And I think Nancy Zeltzman's kind of the one most famous for like playing this piece. And I'm kind of taking after her in that fact that I'm reading music while I do this. So this is something that I don't usually do when I play marimba. I don't usually read music, but I'm doing that today because it's impossible to memorize. The reason for that is because this is through composed. And so thinking about the form of this being through composed and the meaning behind the work, it really makes sense. So the title See a Thursday comes from an anecdote that Stephen tells that includes the phrase See a Thursday, but that's the only relation to this piece that there is. Otherwise, the source material for this piece is just inspired by the art of storytelling itself and not that actual story. So I find that the storytelling in this reflects my own in the way that it makes zero sense. Um, when I tell a story, I start out great. I give you a subject, you think you're going to follow it, and boy, do we diverge. So we diverge very quickly and go to a bunch of different subplots that may or may not have anything to do with the story, usually not. But sometimes there's a small, small, small through line through all of those. In this case, there's this bass line that goes between a ninth, a tenth, and eleventh sometimes um, that you'll hear keep coming back, but it never gets developed upon. So that's really the only thing gluing this all together. Otherwise, it's a bunch of small events that we try to make a story out of. And then we just sort of end. And then there's a little bit of a corral at the end where I'm like, oh, wait, that's the end. That's it. So here's See You Thursday.
We are almost done. So, um, <laughs> while my good friends move this out of the way and get set up, um, just want to thank you all for coming. Um, and for everybody watching on the live stream, thank you for watching the live stream. Um, it means a lot to me that you come support me, support live music. This is really cool. Um, yeah, I'd also like to thank specifically my family, basically my entire family, um, for being here, making the drive from Mobile and Selmer and Jackson um, and spending this weekend with me and going to lots of concerts and uh, negotiating very small uh, meetings with each other. I really appreciate it. It means the world to me. Your time is so valuable and I love you. Um, I'd also like to thank um, David and the AV crew. Um, we had lots of technical difficulties getting ready for this, so he deserves extra thank yous. Can we give David a round of applause? <laughs> David's awesome. He has dealt with all of my crises. And speaking of crises, I have to thank Dr. Arns and Dr. Gaines for working with me this semester. This has been a lot of notes to learn a lot to put on, a lot of logistics, as you can see, between all the electronics and people and drums on stage. Um, and it would not be possible without them coaching me through this and guiding me and telling me everything's going to be OK. Um, thank you. It's, your support is always unwavering, and I really, really appreciate that. And lastly, I would like to thank this crew here for putting up with me this semester, um, playing this piece. It's been really, really fun. It's, we get to play some loud drums, so put your earplugs in again. Um, so it's fun to play with each other, and I think we've all really grown a lot and learned a lot about ourselves as musicians. But you guys have also been my support system, and I appreciate you. Um, yeah, if I did not thank you and you feel like you need to be thanked, thank you. <laughs> so thank you again for coming today. Um, this last piece is fine. Hope you enjoy. Be safe. Stay warm. Thank you.